Hi everybody, my name is Shannon Pilichowski and I'm here to talk to you about social media marketing. First of all, I want to talk about where our business is at so far. So our company does have a small shelf space um, in grocery stores across the United States, which is great. We also have a few media buys just because we're strapped for cash and that's what we can do right now, which is also great, but this really isn't enough for our company to get it where we want to be. So the following presentation includes information about social media marketing. Um, it includes challenges as a company that we face, and it also includes um, what we can do to improve our progress to get to where we want to be or to start to get to where we want to be. So the truth of the matter is that social media use is increasing to what we have been used to seeing in the past. Um, so. Most organizations today have a presence on big platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google, just to name a few. Um, many companies are choosing to market and sell their products online, um, as well as in store, but a heavier presence lately as of online. Um, it's just an inexpensive way to market. Um, creating a social media account is normally free. Facebook I know for sure, Instagram I know for sure, Twitter I know for sure. You can create an account for free, which immediately allows you to post whatever you want about your business and whatever you want to be able to market to your consumers. Um, this is just a fast way to reach uh, customers fast and many businesses seem to be liking how it's turning out for them and they're enjoying the process. So an article I found by Brian Appleton, it's titled G Digital Marketing's Evolution, Five Disruptors You Can Leverage. He talks a lot about digital inbound marketing, which is also known as social media marketing. Um, some of the main points that really brought the success of inbound marketing home is that communication can be interactive. So it's a two-way street for your consumer to reach you and the business representative to reach the consumer. And they can talk about whatever needs answered, any questions, any clarifications, it's just fast and easy than, you know, emailing the representative of the company and maybe not hearing back for days. Most businesses have a 24 axis chat line that makes two-way communication easy and interactive is better, you know? So also customers often find your business through the internet. So referrals, through referrals, social media, or other resources, if they hear about your business somewhere, they're likely to look you up online. Um, so you wanna be online. Um, marketers also have an easier time educating, entertaining, engaging, or inspiring their audience through the media, which is easier to do if they are online and they have a good platform to work with where they can comment to the customers, share things the customers have to say, etc. Um, so some challenges that we face as a company is that our product is extremely unique in regards to uh, in regards to this, people are hesitant about the product as it uses extremely advanced gene splicing technology. Um, because of this, investors are timid to partner with us. Um, we also don't have much advertising, um, which is tough because we can't really get our name out there as much as we'd like to. Um, and without investors, it's hard for our product to get the attention and funding it needs to take off. Um, but the media buys we're using aren't enough. Um, so because social media is advancing and it the technologies associated associated with social media are advancing. We need a bigger presence to help boost the customer traffic to our company and its, and its products. Um, we can't let the past of social media being a foreign object influence our decision to use it or not. Social media is a powerful tool that will help our product increase the flow of consumer traffic that we are missing currently. Also, if our company remains off social media, we are probably suffering because our competitors are on social media. If other baby food companies are marketing online, we're already being beat by them because they have more views, they're going to have more traffic to their website, more people are going to know about them just because they have a presence online and so many people spend time online.
Um, another article that I found um, is from Sursa Interactive Online. Um, it's an article by Audrey Willis. Um, and these are just some simple facts. She states that 2.8 billion people use some form of social media. Um, if you think about that, that's one third of the population, over one third of the population. Um, so right there, there are so many potential customers. Of course, we're not gonna reach all 2.8 billion people because that's just ridiculous and some people have no need for your product. But there's no reason to think that we won't have, that we won't reach people through online marketing. The customers have made that part easy for us already. Just by being interactive on social media sites and the internet in general, this allows them to be exposed to thousands of advertisements every day, whether they are pop-up ads on Facebook or Instagram or their spam emails. It's likely they're gonna come across ads all the time. Uh, so, some facts of the matter. So, although creating a social media account may seem easy, because I've mentioned before, most of the time it's free to create an account, it still needs to be done the right way. Because people want to interact with you. They don't just want to see your Facebook website with nothing on it. They want to see you regularly post. They want to see updates. They want to see reviews that people have to say. They just want to see current, updated, real-time information. Um, according to Phys.org, there's an art article by Aalto University. It states that people or customers who find the business's online social media page and if they interact with that page, they're likely to contribute about 5.6 more percent in revenue to the company than those who do not participate. And also those people who are participating with the social media account are more likely to come in in person, participate in person, and visit the store more than those who are not. Um, also the article by ALSO University includes just that inbound marketing helps the customer experience become more enhanced. People are able to interact. Um, it's just more personal, um, which also allows for the company to, you know, create personalized messages and allow for open contribution from the customers. Say if someone comments on the Facebook post and has a concern, then the company can address it right there and reply immediately to the individual person. They also included some tips to uh, just maintain a successful online marketing experience and that is that they want your website and your social media whatever to be user friendly they want you to post regularly it's good to stay in touch with your customers and you want to encourage interaction from your customers because in the end their voice matters and they want to be able to tell you what they think about your product and then they want to hear back from you about you know, to either address the concern or clarify things. Um, another article by Shane Barker. Um, it's titled, Eight Ways to Use Social Media to Grow Your Small Business. This included a lot of information that I thought was very helpful that would improve our business because right now we're small. We don't really have anywhere to go. We haven't really taken off. Um, but social media is a great way to increase your leads. Um, there's a statistic on there that said more than 65% of small businesses are on social media for this specific reason, so that's a great way to get started. Social media can also improve your search engine ranking. So this means that the domain authority of the website is known to increase if social media rate increases. So if the people are visiting your social media site more, you're more likely to come up higher on a, on the list of, like say if somebody searched baby food in Google, you're more likely to appear higher on the list so people can see your website easier and faster. Um, consumers who end up on your website most likely started out on your social media, so they're looking to, they want to know more. So they're looking to find your website and because of that, um, it will increase your um, 
just how, how, mu how many people see your website. But piggybacking off of this idea, social media will also help drive traffic to your website. So another statistic on that same article said that 78% of small businesses say they use social media to increase their website traffic. And that is exactly what it does. Your link is posted on your social media page and people can easily click it and go visit it. Um, social media also allows you to stay on top of your competitors. As weird as this sounds, um, and as much as you hate your competitor, there's probably a lot to learn from them if they were already on social media. Um, there are potential tricks and tips you can steal from them if they're being successful, but you want to remember that you need to change their ideas and make them your own because your product will stand out in comparison to theirs as long as it's unique. Um, social media can also help you develop trust with customers. Uh, it provides a platform that is very easy to communicate with customers in real time. It allows customers to ask questions and develop a sense of trust with the company. Another statistic from that same article said nearly 79% of marketers agreed that social media is an effective way to develop loyal followers. Another idea that can help the company take off is to find real people who are willing to be influencers for your brand and speak on behalf of your brand. You see that a lot nowadays and I think it is very successful. Um, social media can also help create brand recognition, so it's a powerful tool that can help bring uh, attention to your brand and your product and your business as long as you are posting, as long as what you are posting is relevant and truthful. People want that trust in you while you develop your brand. And it can also help establish your brand as a topical authority. So a quote from the article says, Social media platforms can help you establish your small business as topical authority, meaning in your niche, in your niche, your uh, brand becomes a trusted source of information. So if you become this trusted source of information, search engines will start to recognize your website and promote it as one of the lead trusted sources. So the more people visit you, the more people talk about you, the more search engines are going to recognize your brand and help you promote it basically. Um, also, social media can help maximize conversations. Um, honestly, one of the most important things social media can do is improve the communication process with customers. It's faster than writing to the company, like I mentioned before, and waiting for that email back. Most businesses have social media representatives to keep on top of the communication and updates. And another idea that can help improve communication and just reach maximum uh, maximum contribution from you and your customers is to do things like post contests, giveaways, or discounts, and it'll make people want to try your product. So lastly, I just want to talk about how we can bring our baby food to life. So as I have mentioned, social media is free, it's quick and cheap, way to increase the traffic our brand needs. However, with your help, it is possible to strengthen our business through the use of social media marketing. So creating an account is a great place to start. And at this point in the 21st century, it is nearly impossible for businesses to compete and grow if they are not marketing online through social media because if people hear about your business and then they go to look for you, they're not gonna be able to find you if you don't have an account. Um, one last article published on Forbes by Jason Demers titled The Top 10 Benefits of Social Media Marketing. It, it elaborated on some topics mentioned that I mentioned earlier and he included statistics that support social media marketing and business and I just wanted to touch on a few of those real quick. He says 92% of marketers in 2014 claimed that social media marketing was important for their business. 80% indicated their efforts increased traffic to their websites which is crucial. 97% of marketers are currently participating in social media. So there's another point. So many brands and businesses are already competing that it's almost impossible to get your brand out there if you're not there online competing with them. So I, I think overall across all sources that social media marketing proves to be a positive attribution to com for companies to help grow their business and increase their customer traffic. I think that if our company took to social media and prompted or, and promoted our baby food, there's just so much potential for success in the f near future as social media would increase website traffic, it would aid in customer connections, it would help us communicate with customers, um, and it would help us establish a good report. Um, I think 
that social media could be the key to success for our product forever. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope that you continue to think about the things that I have mentioned. Um, have a great day.